What I just picked up at the crawler meet. Chris. Hey. So uh have you seen these before? No. Nope. This is uh Bauhaus RC. They make a Toyota 152 axle, that's what you're gonna use on your special build. Okay. And uh the front one's here too, which is uh, offset. So it matches the Toyota spacing, you know, and all that. And then uh, we already checked this already at home, but these are the right size to fit under your Winnebago oh, yeah. special event vehicle. It's pretty exciting actually. Yeah. And then uh, they go right on to this uh, Ultimate Yoda C-Max kit. So we got some shocks in here for that. This is the company that also makes the same axle housing. Okay. And uh, they make these uh, double shear knuckles and a lockout set that goes on the back for the bearing cover. And so that's uh, Bauhaus RC. You can go there and find more info. Those are 3D printed, right? The axles? Yeah, these are centered nylon. Okay. So uh, not your home print style of stuff. They're very strong. So, so I don't use Loctite on that? Nope. They're like, uh, it's like every screw you put into that is the same as using a lock nut. Ah, cool. Yeah. Tamiya springs for the main spring. And then uh, the truck's pretty heavy, so there's a, a helper spring for the Tamiya spring as well. And hopefully that will hold it up off the ground a little bit anyways until and we... Won't, and won't sag too much. <laughs> until we decide how much weight it's actually going to be. Okay. Yeah. There's some knuckle bushings, and uh, you have lots of wrenching to do. And this is a cover for it? Yeah, for the other diff, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The nice part about these is the, the uh, diff cover there comes off, and it's the bearing support and everything. So there's four screws on the inside that you don't ever see. Okay. And then when it's all assembled there, it's really clean. You know, it's nice and clean looking. You can use the shock mount over here, or you can use the shock mount from the back depending okay. on what setup you decide to use. Um, the ones on the outside, I think you should probably try to use these because uh, the truck is heavy enough, you might want to use the shocks with the spring on it. Okay. And then you'll have extra weight control, yeah. you know what I mean? So the body's gonna be heavy, right? Yeah. So that ought to work just fine. And uh, in this box is all the gear sets for this, axle housings, the frame, and all the transmission and all that other stuff that you need is all in the box. So. You'll have like uh, lots of wrenching. Cool. Oh yeah. Can't wait to start that. Yeah. When are you starting? Uh, I'm going to be starting probably next week. I'm going to talk about it a little bit more on RC Talk tonight. And, oh cool. Uh, so it's at that 9.30. Ah so good. So yep. it's going to be fun. Awesome. Fun build. Thank you very much. Piles Can't wait to get that thing done. Parts. and work on the interior, but let's do the mechanical first and then we'll worry about finishing touches. Awesome. Happy building. <laughs> hey guys, Tank here. Today we're going to talk about the C-Max Ultimate Yoda 152 kit and talk a little bit about the C-Max. Before I start unboxing, I want to show you guys on the GCM page, we have the C-Max chassis. So in the store product, you find this. But some of the people I've been talking to have been having issues of um, why so many kits? Which one do I pick? They're not sure. So I want to clarify a, a couple things here. Um, basically, it, this one is sold out because this is where you actually find the instruction um, to the... Um, how to build this uh, because this kit it's not like a um, uh, SCX10 or any other kit that you would get the instruction are, are here online uh, here's one of the skilled builders like guild um, there's stuff to find battery trays here at shapeways there's a bunch of videos that you can look at there's link to the CMAX playlist so uh, there's a lot of videos and a lot of information of how to install this especially when you go to the um, uh, Scale Builders Guild. 
a lot of content here. So here you have your overview, transmission, transfer case gearing, adjustment, the C-channel. So everything is here for instruction of uh, how to build it and, and why. Uh, a lot of good info also on uh, the different transmission and transmission rates uh, with the uh, gearing ratios and all that. So a lot of people are looking for that. So it's there. So if I come back here, <coughs> so that's the first tab. Uh, second tab, uh, this is the second kit. Uh, mind you, I'm on the Canadian website. Uh, that's why there's a C there. Uh, this is the ultimate leaf spring kit. So this is uh, leaf springs all the way around. So all the C-Max uh, chassis are all the same length and all the same width. But this is the leaf spring kit. This one is the coil spring kit. So this is basically for the Defender. Uh, you can use it for any other truck if you want coil springs all the way around. This is the one you take. This one is for the Bronco kit. This one has the James Duff long arm and leaf at the back. So they're, um, they're, uh, there's arms in the front. And then you have this one, the Ultimate XJMJ Jeep Kit. These are coil and shock spring with leaf out back. So this is the one that has links in the front and uh, leaves at the back. And this is the one I took, is the um, C-Max Ultimate Yoda 152 kit. This kit and this kit are basically close to the same. They're both leaf spring, but this one is the 152 two kit, which means the leaf are more in the center. They're actually underneath the rails. Compared to this one, they're uh, beside the rail. So that's the big difference of these, is that this one, the, the springs are more in the center of the truck. To better show you what is the difference between the um, 152 kit and the 170, let me show you. This is the 170. This 170, the shack or the leaf springs are actually beside the frame and the 152 they're actually underneath the frame so you can see the leaf spring is actually more underneath the frame so that permits you to um, put a, a narrower um, axle and then you have this basic combo kit which is basically the drivetrain and the rails you do not have any hardware to mount you. Okay, when you receive this, uh, you get it in a small little box. Mind you, it's sealed. I opened mine. I had an unboxing on my RC Talk Life. And then you get all the goodies. So, if I get rid of that, and then I can show you what's in the box. So basically, one of the bags you'll find is the, all the drivetrain bag. So you get the transmission, you get the motor plate, you get the gears, and you get all the hardware, bearing and everything like that that you need to actually build this. And what's nice with this is that it's all metal, all metal gearing everywhere. You also get the Yoda 152 front leaf spring mount for the C-Max. So this is all the hardware for the front springs. And here is the rear leaf spring mount kit. And here is for the axle, the 152 uh, axles. These are going to be a little shorter so that they fit on it. And here's the gears. Again, everything is metal. You get the 12 millimeter hex. You get the bolts to log on, uh, in that, I mean. For your wheels, you get the pins. Man, these are big pins. Nice. And you get all the bearings all the bearings for the axle. 
and this would be the rear axle. And one thing with the front axle is, is you actually do get CVDs. So they are CVDs that you're getting. And here's the rear one again. And again, everything is identified on the bag. What is the server mount? The server mount, the T case cross member, the rear shock mount, and the rear cross member. And then, hey, you even get stickers. I get stickers to put on the Winnebago. It's going to have a big sticker. It's going to be vinyl wrapped. And that pretty much concludes. And uh, if you noticed, there's no leaf spring. There's no axle. That you have to order separately from the kit. And this is what the other stuff that you theoretically have to order. So these are the 152 Bauhaus RC axles. the front this is the rear this does not come with it you have to order them separately and you also have to order the uh, front carriers and these are the double 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 shear one so nice and tough also you can use any shocks but they recommend the uh, ECX uh, 21 3000 shocks and these come already pre-filled with oil and depending on your build you remove the springs I'm going to leave it in the uh, in the Tonka because the Tonka is going to be a little heavy so we're going to be experimenting on the suspension see how it's going to how it's going to react and then you need to order the leaf springs you can order any length you want they recommend these ones they've exper experimented with a bunch of them and um, this is the one that worked best for them for the length but pretty much any leaf springs that you find in the market should work this is uh, part number um, 9808091 that's the leaf spring for the Tonka built we've, we've actually ordered the helper spring so this is the uh, TAM 9808095 part number and that's about it and then once you've got that you can put your truck together and then ready to roll on our next video I'm gonna start assembling all this stay tuned for the next one thanks for watching and give me a thumbs up comment if you like thank you